God? Unless I can verify him, PhD students in biology at New York University experience superpower in despair. Now they are teachers of the Department of Life Sciences at Central University in Taiwan. Couples went to U.S. to study biology, but he was interrupted by an unknown virus. I am Liang, Shaolan. I was born in a family of traditional beliefs, studying biology. And as for the true and living God of Christians, at the time I thought most of it was self-suggestion. A well-respected a university professor once wanted to take me to church. And I also tried to refuse. She had to tell me the following. Maybe you don't believe in God now, but one day when you encounter great difficulties, when even no one else in the world can help you, you can also ask our Heavenly Father for help. He will definitely listen to your prayers because He is our God. In 2004, while we studied biology at New York University, we returned to Taiwan to marry in July and we completed 13 years of love running. On the eve of Thanksgiving in November 2004, my husband Nian Zhang Yi was sent to well-known hospitals in New Jersey and New York. He was suffering from headache that escalated to fever and then to dementia and generalized epilepsy in just a few days. Because of acute encephalomyelitis, coma, convulsions, it led to tracheostomy, which meant he had to rely on the respirator, nasogastric tube, to survive. The hospital has conducted more than 100 tests only to know that he had viral meningitis notwithstanding, and it was impossible to detect which kind of virus. The doctor was not sure whether my husband could survive, because the MRI showed the brains was filled with white spots. At that time, I could only stay with him at all times incessantly, because I was very worried that his life would disappear in an instant. Several times, I couldn't bear to see him crying in pain. I wanted to hold him and jump out of the window. She was able to know in advance that I would call back to Taiwan for help. In desperation, I thought of the words of the aforementioned professor many years ago. So I knelt down and cried, Oh God, if you really exist, can you save us? After crying, I only felt that it is a vent of emotions, and it did not help. After returning to the ward, I suddenly had an urge. Despite it being late night in Taiwan, I still decided to call my husband's sister in Tomsu, Taiwan. When she picked up the phone, she said, You called at long last. In the early days of my husband's illness, my brother-in-law's colleagues in Tamkang Senior High School saw that my brother-in-law was very sad. He contacted the resident pastor at the Elizabeth Church throughout his younger brother in New York. But the pastor can't contact us. The pastor felt that we may have an accident. About two hours before I called, he was able to contact my husband's sister. She told him that my husband is dying, but she did not know which hospital we were in. The pastor had to invite the believers to pray together. Pray that the Lord Jesus will touch me and call back to Taiwan. As it turns out that I had not yet sought Jesus, he had opened the door to grace for me. The pastor contacted me that night and immediately went to the hospital to pray for my husband. I can't believe without experience. Jesus used this method to let me verify. Since then, believers in the Queen's Church in New York have come to the hospital to pray and comfort. And several elders treat us as close relatives. At that time, the snow was very big. They often came to the hospital to visit and even fasted and prayed. I was lonely and helpless in a foreign land. Because of their love, I began to have hope and began to know Jesus.
but I was still very suspicious of the Holy Spirit and pray in tongues. So I prayed to Jesus. God, please forgive me for not knowing the Holy Spirit, but I am studying science. Without experience, I can hardly believe that if the Holy Spirit is really important, it is really a promise. Please let me experience the Holy Spirit. Unexpectedly, suddenly there was a force like a living river. And the tongue naturally movement, I couldn't help but pray in tongues, just as the Bible described. It turns out that there really is God, there is really the Holy Spirit. In the future, as long as the husband is in danger, the Holy Spirit urges me to pray in tongues. I also prayed anytime and prayed everywhere. What is even more amazing is that my husband has never heard a prayer in the Spirit. When he wakes up, he hears that I did not believe in Jesus. I am praying. He knows that it is a spiritual prayer. At that moment, he immediately believed that there is a God. Jesus used this method to block the operation, and even the doctor was surprised. But over time, the American hospital finally had no way to deal with my husband's illness. So he asked for brain slice surgery and persuaded me to sign the surgical consent form. On the morning of the operation, a church aunt called me and said that she felt that the Lord Jesus did not like the matter. In prayer, my husband only suffered in vain. But I had signed a consent form, how can I stop the operation? She said, don't be afraid. We ask God to block. The surgery, originally scheduled for 10 a.m., was repeatedly delayed. Two days later, the neurologist again proposed a brain slice surgery. He believed that after 10 days, my husband's condition would not improve. At that time, he patted my husband's foot and deliberately said, Don't believe, ask him to lift his feet. I didn't expect my husband to be able to lift two feet in turn. The doctor was so surprised that he decided to stop the operation. I was very happy to hear that the condition had improved. I didn't think he still had the strength to lift his foot. This is only a wonderful arrangement of the Lord Jesus. In order to cancel the surgery and avoid his suffering, after we concentrated on relying on Jesus, my husband quickly recovered his life, which is amazing. He could not urinate on his own, and Jesus appeared to heal him. We returned to Taiwan in March 2005 and were baptized into Jesus in True Jesus Church in April. Believers also helped us with love and prayed for my husband after each worship service. Because my husband must rely on artificial catheterization four to six times a day. And the cost of equipment and the pain of catheterization. We are afraid to return to the USA to continue studying. My husband used to have a bad temper and even said, I don't know if I want to live or is it better to die? In the prayer of the worship service, I was very sad to ask the Lord Jesus for help. After the prayer, a sister came to me with tears and asked me not to be discouraged. She said that my husband would be better, because she saw the Lord Jesus walking to my husband in prayer, praying for him. I thought that since Jesus personally heals, my husband will certainly be able to heal. I felt that we were humble, and the Lord Jesus cared so much about us. And I was greatly encouraged. At that time, I was preparing to witness at the Gospel Tea Party. I prayed to God that my husband could be healed in order to increase my confidence in witnessing. Just when I started writing the draft, I wrote two lines. My husband was surprised to have beach water on the ground. This was the first time in eight months that my husband could urinate himself. Since then, my husband didn't need to catheterize again. These words of the Lord Jesus made me cry because I prayed like this. We returned to the U.S. in September 2005 to continue our studies. At the beginning my husband was still weak. 
I often worried about whether he could be qualified for heavy studies. One night, a Korean schoolgirl visited with her husband. We prayed for my husband together. Her husband heard the Lord Jesus saying, Child, I always stood there watching you when you were lying down. I cried as soon as I heard those words. In the past, in the hospital, every night's visit time was over. I was very afraid to leave my husband. I prayed to the Lord Jesus so that he must look after him and never let him lose his life. Looking back, the traditional beliefs can't save us, science or doctoral can't save us. If there is no Lord Jesus, we don't know where we have been. The only thing I did right was to hold on to the Lord Jesus. Thank you for watching. May all glory and praise belong to our Lord Jesus. Amen. In the English version, thanks to Mr. Ray Fun Math and Mr. Ryan Land for their valuable suggestions. This article is organized from Because You Are My God. True Jesus Church, Holy Spirit Monthly, number 487, April 2018. Author Liang, Xiao Lan. We welcome you to visit the site of tjc.org. On this site, you can get to know the truth as given by the Lord Jesus Christ and taught by his apostles. Many have experienced God's presence and salvation in the true Jesus Church through various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit.